Uh, mortgage is becoming a, a relationship-based product. It's always had some relationship-based product, but um, you know, today if uh, you say, hey, we, well, you know, we'd love to give you a mortgage over here, and you know, we'd appreciate it if you'd come bank with us, et cetera, absolutely, I'm in, I'll, I'm, I'm in on that trade because I can't get the mortgage anywhere else, and it's very hard to get the mortgage, especially in the jumbo space, and the jumbo space, as we all know, is, is and has seen the underwriting and it's not just going to be, hey, anybody can kind of get 80%, send in a couple of forms and give me a W-2 and a, and a letter about that credit card thing, and here you go. It's going to become much more relationship-based, much more underwriting-based again, as you've seen the pendulum swing back. And so that's a good space. That's what we do on a daily basis anyways, and the small banks do. And so we see that as a big relationship-driving product and a product that we cannot compete in. Um, one of the challenges is... Yeah. Um, one, of, one of the challenges to the uh, uh, to to that market and, and getting into that product is it takes time. In the banking business, um, it, you know, I, I've been an entrepreneur in real estate and a few other places, and usually it's well, I, I don't have the money to go buy that. I'd love to buy the building, but I don't have the money. If someone will loan me the money and I can find the equity, will I buy the building? The banking business. You got to, the government lets you do, lets you in and lets you out of business. So we have a number of places where we're like, well, we can raise the money, we've got all the talent, we want to go do this, and this is basically where we've been on the, on the mortgage piece. We're very close at this point, and we think we're very close, but I know a few people in the room have been asking me for probably a year and a half, saying, hey, when are you going to have mortgages? We need mortgages, and I keep saying, I think we're three to four months away. Um, the challenge that happens throughout government in any big organization Washington says, hey, we're trying to fund the small banks. We view the small banks as the piece to the recovery, and we want the recovery to happen. Washington also says to the regulatory bodies, in my mind a bit unfairly, uh, because it, the, the failure is really in policy, not in the execution of the policy that the regulators were doing. But the regulators get blamed for it. Well, you guys weren't watching it closely enough. In my mind, it had more to do with the policy that you asked them to police. but. The regulators get blamed for it. So the local guy in the field that's at the bottom of the totem pole that's looking at your local small bank, he's not that interested in you moving really fast into a market that you've never been in before and you see this wide open space and so forth. Because if you do something wrong, it's on him. And so this is a, a just a natural pull that you see within, I think, any big organization, getting from the idea at the top to the bottom and then getting the processes through and in place. And it takes time you to start a business, as you, know, you guys have seen. That's a year-long type process. So um, it's something that we've been after for, for a bit and we view as a big piece in the growth of our uh, organization. And uh, we see doing very actively here in the South Bay. And part of what we'll do um, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll play in a few places in the, in the, within the mortgage industry. Um, we will fund um, mortgage banks, which is called warehouse lending, where by the bank uh, funds a, a group that's out making the, the loans. It's not a non-banking entity. We make the loan to them so they make, can make the loan to the end customers, and then likely they sell those loans through our capital markets group on up the chain. And then we'll also develop um, a platform whereby the bank is actually making making loans for its customers, um, and, and, and we'll do that here in the south in the South Bay. And we're going to attempt to do it in the fashions that you slide one forward. We're going to attempt to do it in the fashions that uh, we tend to do all of our piece in high service and um, you know quote do it very well and have high service and reliability, uh, working close with the with the you know with the entire uh, real estate community. Uh, to, to see how we can work to affect that. But you know, it, it's a two-way street for a community bank too. Our biggest challenge to making more loans is having more people come support us as depositors. We get limited, um, so you know, everyone sort of says, oh, well, it doesn't really matter if I bring in my checking account to you. And it's like, no, absolutely, it matters a lot. And what our ability to lend back into the community is based on how much the community deposits with us. Where when the depositors go to you know, B of A and Wells, this goes into a big national system and then they make their allocations on a national basis and it's very different. And some of you may have seen like the Huffington Post and a few other uh, of these websites, there's kind of this um, bank community piece going on in some of the popular press and, and, and websites. And that's what that's all about is, hey, if you take your local dollars and you put it in the national banks, it's going off into places 
that isn't, isn't the local economy, and that national bank may or may not support that local economy to the degree that a community bank is, you know, when we get regulated, um, they don't want to see us make, we're a national bank, so we can make loans anywhere we want. At the same time, we have a, a footprint that is Southern California, and specifically the South Bay. Um, our own business plan says we want to be in the South Bay, but also the regulatory business plan. If we started lending out half our money in Anchorage, Alaska, because we thought that was a fun thing to do, um, the regulators wouldn't be um, at all excited about that, and that probably wouldn't go on for too long. Um, so again, you're starting to see some shift to where the local community banks can come play. One, because um, the product from a jumbo space is becoming much more relationship oriented and much highly more underwritten. And the big banks really aren't set up to do that well. And you've probably experienced that when you're trying to put loans through and they come up with silly, strange exceptions and so forth that really is about that we don't understand your local community and what's really going on there and who these people are. So you, I think you're gonna see a lot more localized lending on in the jumbo product in general. Um, certainly we're trying to, trying to play in that space and, and others are. Um, and and then you're going to see, um, I forgot what, which, what else you're going to see, but you're going to see other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, and, and it, you know, so in, in general, we see uh, we we see a recovery of this market. I, I think some of our message would be very similar to um, what. <laughs> What our first speakers talked about sort of on a global macro piece that we see recovery to the economy We don't really see a double dip um, Coming forward. We see a basic stabilization to the real estate markets. We have great concern however about the uh, amount of foreclosures or past due borrowers that are in the system and this uh, this recovery and this downturn is far different than the previous where um, and I think a lot of economists get on the, the data and how much it flows through the system. Well, today what you have going on is a lot of it not flowing through the system because for the first time you've got a move on that's been, you know, the administration has driven this, hey, we need to restructure the mortgages with the borrowers and keep those borrowers in houses. Because it got so deep, we were going to throw, and lend, advance rates got so high that so many people couldn't afford it that we were going to throw 40% of the people out of their houses. And that turmoil to the economy was going to be dramatic. So you've seen the administration, both administrations, I think, sort of suggest, hey, we need to restructure these loans with people. Uh, our, our view on that is that um, the writing's not done with that piece. So you have a significant amount of property. California it might be as much as three and eight. In Florida, it's an absolute disaster. Um, that are people that need to restructure their loans with the bank, which is essentially a foreclosure and a repurchase if the bank will agree to that. Um, and how that plays out in the end is gonna have a, a big effect in terms of how much more supply comes onto the market because we're essentially trying in that circumstance to say, hey, you would get thrown out of your house, you might become a renter or you might become a buyer, but your house is gonna be a foreclosure and a sale. If we restructure that with you, we take both those pieces out of the market. If we don't, we start dumping all that supply into the market again, and the market gets back to this spot where it was a year or two ago where there's dramatic oversupply. Um, and it's difficult. You can see the amounts of past dues are still uh, increasing, especially in a place like Florida. Um, so the way that goes is the way that we really see sort of the stabilization in the in the home markets go, how much of this restructuring ends up happening. And it's, it's a difficult, difficult issue because, you know, as soon as my neighbor's restructuring, it's like, well, let me, let me take a shot at that. I want to try to restructure. Let me see if I can lower my rate. So uh, the banks have a real hard time because uh, in that space, because, you, you know, at the bank, it's their money, right? You don't want to just walk up and say, hey, why don't you pay me less? At the same time, the bank knows if it goes through a foreclosure process, they lose a lot more. Um, so I think that process is still a little bit to be played out. Uh, so in general, that's where we see things going. Great. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, I just want to add that community banks are the ones now that really have the flexibility to handle your personal situation. You know, you go to B of A and Wells Fargo, they can't deal with it. Whereas, um, you know, the community bank, you can get in there, talk to the people, 
They live down the street from me 